Greek volunteers. Hmm? All right, Greek volunteers, ready? One, two, three. All right, I need uh, Pastor Rich. You can control the lights for me once you get the scripture up, that's fine. All right, so. You gotta choose one. Choose flashlights, brother. Are you ready for the lights here, baby? <laughs> Turn down the lights. Speak to Jesus. You can turn on the lights because it's hot outside. shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. New King, New King James Version. All right, turn around. They started. It's congregation. All right, so everybody got their flashlights, right? All right, lights on, Pastor Rich. Turn your flashlights on. Does yours work, Chris? All right. If your light works, hold it up. Hold up your light work. All right. So, Kristen lights work. Michaela lights work. Aaron does not. Aaron, I'm sorry. Cameron does not. Okay. So now, what it says, no, they light a lamp and put it under a basket. In this case, we use a bag for Michaela's. One on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. So now, the light we're talking about is the the, the, the light of Jesus Christ. Okay. The one who lives within us. So where it says, let your light shine so men, before men. Let me see your good works. Basically, what it's saying is, let the God in you shine through you. So people can see God through you. A lot of times, especially for my kids, the only church on the Bible people are going to see or read or go to is when they talk to you. Y'all following with that? The only God they're going to see in the beginning is going to be you. So you have to make sure that in your light that you're shining, which is should be Christ Jesus, that it projects. Okay? Kristen light is small and it's shining. Michaela's light, medium size, shining, but not 100 percent Camera light ain't shining at all. Can y'all guess why her light ain't shining? Huh? No power source. No batteries. And the batteries represent who? Jesus. Represents who? So if the battery would represent Jesus not in her light, it's not on wood. So you can't project what's not in you. Mm -hmm. Y'all get it? You can't project light if the if what gives you light ain't in you. Alright? So now, even though Michaela flashlight has batteries and has light in it, she's covering it up. Meaning she's ashamed of the gospel. She's not letting people know that she loves Jesus, that, that she goes to church, that she's in the word. Because she's shamed of it. People can see a little bit of her, can, can see a little bit of Jesus, but not a whole lot of it. Because she's covering it up. Alright? Christian, who won't stand still, even though her light is small, it ain't covered. She's not ashamed to say, hey, you know, I love Jesus. I go to church. I go to Truth for Life Ministries. You know, in God's word, he said, you know, Jesus will. So she's constantly telling people about the word of Christ. And not only is she constantly telling and showing them, but they can see it through her. They can see her light shine. Get the camera. Sorry, that's the one you chose. Get the camera. She's trying to let her light show. The people are trying to see it, but because she don't have a battery in it, which represents Jesus Christ, her light can't show. We good? Now, so Michaela becomes unashamed of the gospel 
and unashamed to say that she's a follower of Jesus Christ and take her bag off, we got life. Y'all feel me? But Cameron, when she started hooking up with Michaela and Chris, y'all linked up together. Side by side. Even though Cameron Light ain't showing yet because she got two friends who are in Christ who are showing their light so she can see it, that light going to shine on her. Come on. Shine the light. Shine the light on, on camera. <laughs> shine light on camera. So the God in them is projecting on the camera, which turn is giving her light. Amen? So as camera begins to learn and grow in Christ, she begins to get her battery and put her battery inside her lamp. And her battery represents who? Turn it from the bottom. Hope I put it in right. <laughs> so I got a light on her so she can see how it is. <laughs> so now, while camera is learning and growing in Christ, you guys still got to shine your light, like Pastor E said. Shine your light so she can see how she's going to grow. All right, now see the turn on. Right. So now we got a light. <laughs> as to taking a, taking a flashlight that we use on an everyday basis as an analogy to say that when you got the battery, which is Jesus Christ in you, your light is going to shine. When you ain't got no light, no battery, no Jesus, you have no light. Amen? Amen. When you are ashamed of the gospel and you are not you're afraid to tell people who you are, who you stand for, your light is on, but it's being covered by your shame. Well, by your shame is a better word. When you're not afraid of it, it's going to shine like Chris. It's going to shine like Michaela. And it's going to shine like Cameron. Pop the lights of Pastor Rich. So now, imagine all the things that let our light shine, right? Where the light just came on a few minutes ago. When we get together as a body of Christ and enter into a room, we should shut the whole place down. People should be blinking because the brightness is going to See, like Pastor C doing, that light came on, kind of started you and make you refocus again. That's how we should be. We enter to a room. With two or three gathered together, our light should be so bright, people got to blink. Amen. To refocus, right. to see what they're looking at. Amen. That's my good one, but I'm done. sharing my hand, clap of praise. We should be letting our lights shine. Amen. 